Hello. <clears throat> We're back to hack in some uh, some more code. I think I'm going to start with the uh, some some of the FSMs. <clears throat> so our clam character is currently in uh, the first world here, or well, first level in the first world. Uh, in part because the clam is also in here. So, or I mean, not the clam, the crab crab character. So what I'm going to go do is go to this Playmaker FSM and I'm going to have a look at take damage. So there's <clears throat> there's a bit much in here. Um, there's more than I need for the, the clam. Uh, I'll have to strip some of it out. But it's a good place to start because I'm on. Because in general um, they behave pretty, pretty similar uh, as far as the take damage is concerned. They need like sort of all the same all the same events. Um, see how long this is going to take. I've, I haven't uh, copied and pasted an, an FSM that's that big before. So we will give this a moment. <clears throat> and hopefully it doesn't crash. Well, anyway, um, in general, most of the events and the take damage are pretty consistent across anything that needs to take damage. And it just finished. So let's see, a bunch of errors. And go ahead and remove this. And it looks like it's not going to want to uh, to be very snappy. Okay, come on, come on. <laughs> wow, that is pretty bad. <clears throat> All right, what is this complaining about? Okay, on the movement FSM, I do not have. Um, certain events. Game object requires rigid body component. Um, I apparently do not have a rigid body component. Uh, this does indeed need a rigid body component. So I click that and now we're kind of lagging again. Okay. Rigid body component has added now. Let's see. Yep, rigid body. Okay. And wow, it's it's way happier now. <clears throat> so I guess that was the big thing. I just needed that <laughs> that rigid body. Um, so another thing you're gonna notice is we have all these messages. Send message like deactivate AI, disable ping, flash, hit L or bin hit L, uh, that kind of stuff. And I'm going to have to go in here and change um, a lot of this. So like method name bin hit L, um, I don't have a bin hit L. Um, I'm only going to have a bin hit. Alright, so I guess I can go ahead and do a copy and paste of the entire movement FSM for the crab as well. Uh, just because, you know, it, it's probably the best place to start off. Just like the the take damage is the best place to start off as well for the take damage FSM. Because I already have them. You know, I've already done sort of the logic uh, and a lot of the work to figure out how I want things to be handled. So it makes sense to just reuse it instead of having to... Well, reuse it, rehash it, instead of having to code it from scratch or and set it up from scratch because some of this stuff I mean you can tell by looking at the complexity of this uh, it would be pretty um, intense to try and create that from scratch on video now hopefully this one will have less of a performance impact and have less errors because I can't really do anything while it's doing this. But a lot of the methods that you see in here, um, like the deactivate AI, disable ping, all that sort of stuff, 
uh, is related to the radar script and I'm going to also just as I'm copying pasting I'm going to be you know gutting this stuff I'm going to have to do the same thing for the radar script um, and also the rich AI script but it shouldn't be too big of a deal once we can get going <clears throat> wish there was a faster way of um, doing these FSMs come on <laughs> well I guess it's good it's a good time to take a drink <clears throat> do 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 I think this one might even be taking longer than the last one. I guess all the <coughs> Unity, um, you know, and dealing with these big FSMs and everything, uh, I guess it kind of acts like this a little bit when I'm not streaming, so I guess I, uh, I shouldn't expect it to be any faster with the extra load. But like uh, you may have heard me hit a button uh, on my keyboard to delete this state. Just this empty state, I'm just sitting here staring at it. It's still not going away. <clears throat> there we go. All right. So I wanted to go ahead and you know just toss this in here, and in, in part because if I go over the take damage, uh, the electrocuted here was looking for an event. Um, attacked, uh, which is over on the the movement here, which it goes into attacked here. Um, so depending, you know, if it's waiting for ground, that means it's been thrown, like it's in the air, it's airborne. Uh, so if it was waiting for ground when it got attacked, go back to the wait for ground state. Uh, otherwise, you know, <coughs> if it was in landing, it was already landing. Go back to the landing state. Otherwise, hesitate and then just re-enable and go back into hunt. And you'll see these bull tests for like crab item and everything. I'm obviously just I'm gonna have to remove all that. So let's go ahead and start doing some of this. So dead, hot, and cold. Um, drop held items like there should be no. All right, Windows, leave me alone. Postpone. There should be no held items. Um, so I don't need these sort of things, uh, and all this sort of stuff with the crab arms. I guess I can kind of leave that alone at the moment. Maybe I should go ahead and copy and paste some more code before I start gutting everything, just so I can uh, get in a groove with that. So the code on our clam, I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply quick apply on that because it doesn't seem to be running very well I don't want to have to redo any of this if it crashes alright so code I'm going to look for the clam radar <coughs> and it's going to be a similar sort of thing that basically I need to strip down uh, the, the crab specific elements of the radar stuff uh, let me get rid of this. Let's see, arm pickup, crab setup, clam setup. Um, I can go ahead and leave that kind of stuff in there. <clears throat> go for the clam radar, which we can see is pretty empty here. Go ahead and move the declaration. And let's go open up the crab radar. Crab, 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 crab radar. And we have all kinds of stuff in here that we aren't going to need. Um, but let's just go ahead and grab grab some of this stuff. Probably down to there. And just paste it in here. Alright, so now we have some issues with 
uh, RVO controller dot enabled, um, crab back off, all this sort of stuff. So import types, I'm not sure that I specifically want to import because it's not telling me. Let's just go ahead and do it. I go see what it imports up at the top. Link pathfinding, all that sort of stuff. Um, so since the clam um, jumper, I actually might want to keep jumper. Jumper doesn't sound like a bad thing to have. Attacks above while grounded, I don't want these to do that. Um, I don't think I want them to get angry or doing that sort of stuff. Uh, I'll keep the jump choice timer. Um, but one of the things is that those settings should be set uh, by setup. So if I'm going to have, oops, I'm going to have like um, a jump and a jump probability. Let's see, do I have in the setup, do I have the timer? Nope, I just have the probabilities. Um, so the same sort of thing here. Jump probability, jumper. I'm going to go ahead and add these um, to behavior. Behave. Uh, hopefully that's spelt right. Jumper, jump probability, and these are actually going to be private here. Jumper and jump probability. And let's see, crab. No, giant clam setup, giant clam radar. So I want to find the giant clam radar script here. Um, so that's where I get all the scripts. And I'll just go down to somewhere around here and say the clam radar dot, uh, what was it, jumper is assigned the, the private field jumper here and that's actually bad they need to be public not private um, anyway script jump probability assigned jump probability easily enough I can go in here and make these public and then this is going to complain that they aren't named properly so I'll just rename them I don't want the breakpoint so what this does is basically I'll set the I'll set these numbers on the setup script and then it will push that data to the radar script and all that kind of stuff. So so really the setup script is the only one that I need if I want a different variation of the enemy. All I have to do is go, you know, click those buttons. So you can see that in here if I look at like the crab. Um and go find because you see like just all this stuff that's on it right it, there is just a bunch of stuff um, so I only want to have to access one of these scripts I don't want to have to go through here and set tons of stuff because I'll forget there's too many things so here I can say oh is it blue is it a jumper jump probability attacks above all grounded gets angry all that sort of stuff and this is the only place I have to set something and then that will allow me to create an alternate version of the enemy, such as the blue one here. So like if you look at the crab setup, it's blue. And um, blue, actually, if you look at the code, probably goes in and sets things like the jumper uh, thing automatically. Uh, so what is this? Uh, jumper, jumper, clam radar. What was the error again? Does not con no, clam radar is not contain jumper. Clam radar. Definition for jumper. Okay. Interesting. Giant clam radar. Dot jumper. That's weird. That should be easy enough. Um, script clam radar. Have I gotten these components? Giant clam radar? Yep. 
It's kind of odd. But I'm going to move on for now. Uh, so, transform rich AI crab. I'm not going to need that. I'm going to need a rich AI giant clam. And I'll call this uh, giant, whoop, rich AI clam. That's fine. Uh, we might as well add giant in there. Why not? Giant clam, our view controller, that's fine. The crab pickup script, um, I'm going to have a clam pickup script. Giant clam pickup. So this will be clam pickup. Movement FSM, that's correct. Eyeball FSM, I'm not going to have one of those. I do have a take damage FSM, I have an animator. Activation and deactivation ranges are good to have. Has item, won't be able to have items. <clears throat> so, like the item array, closest item, item distance. Um, temp distance, I probably don't need that because I'm not going to have, um, you know, I'm not going to have items being run through in an array and checking their distances to figure out which one's the closest. Private float, <coughs> sorry. Max ignore, max seek item distance. Once again, anything with item, I really don't need it. Even the crab item. It's not a crab item. Back off, I should probably keep. Uh, back off is used for if you get attacked. Um, it's basically I send an event to uh, to whatever's listening for it, such as the crabs that you can be fighting them, and if one of them hits you, I can have some of them back off. So like I would have the red ones back off because they are um, nicer. Uh, the blue ones are are pretty mean, so I would probably have either a back off percentage, like they're not likely to do it, or just have them not ever do it. Um, swim breast, I do not need this because he, it's that's for um, the crab. Throw at position, once again, no items, not going to need a throw at position. Hit up, hit up forward. I tend to think, yep, I need those because they're going to be for jumping, I think. Default eye target, uh, rotation, renderers, script, toggle, collider. I may need that one. I may not. Has been eaten. I need that one because it could be eaten. Flock manager, keep that. Local up, sphere cast radius, hit. My forward, grounded, center to ground distance, delta ground, max speed, look direction, and dot. So that seems good. Uh, so pretty much the stuff here that's red uh, that I, I'm not just not going to need, I can go ahead and remove it. Uh, max speed, I do keep. Uh, let me check uh, what I just deleted. Max seek item distance. Uh, the movement variable attacks below while grounded, gets angry. Gets angry might be useful, but I can always add it back in. So max speed is not going to be rich AI crab, it's going to be rich AI giant clam. Dot max speed. Because it's not on the the script at the moment, I haven't copied and pasted it in. Um, so I can go ahead and load uh, that so we can have a look at it too. Uh, and let's go for the crab rich AI. Now the rich AI is based on the um, A star pathfinding project. I basically just took their entire script and pasted it in here. And then I have these little sections where I have like crab specific. Um, so it starts here. So like this little section in there is crab specific. Um, and actually, so it's actually not just that section. I believe it's this entire thing here is crab specific. Uh, and then there should be one more section that's crab specific. Uh, so I can select this, do control find, and go down here. So do do do, go down there. So that's the end of that, and that's all, actually. Okay, yeah, so I moved it all up into here. Uh, which means I can go change this all to be clam specific. Uh, but what I want to do right now would be say grab this, 
and just go down here and copy this. Uh, go to Rich AI Clam, which I don't have open. Rich AI Giant Clam. That's in here. Do this, and that should be good. Port types. All right. Now that that's good enough for now. We'll go back to radar, and we're clear on this. All right, crab item and or back off. So since I don't have crab item, I can just remove this and just say if back off. Uh, if swim breast, I don't need that at all. Set AI target, I'm going to need that. Jump choice timer, that's fine because I'm going to keep jumping. So here we have activate and deactivate AI, which you'll remember um, we're in the FSM itself like the uh, the take damage FSM. So things get deactivated here in radar so they're not running um, you know when they don't need to be. <clears throat> Else if active. If has item. Not gonna have items. Don't need ha don't need has item. And I can just make this. If the player is not null and the distance uh, between this is uh, between the enemy and the player is less than the max ignore distance and I have not been eaten uh, set the AI, AI target to the player. Else, find closest item. Um, and if closest item is null, do all this stuff, which I don't need closest item. Uh-oh. There we go. I don't need closest item. So then I don't even need, I don't need this uh, else here. So let me, hold on, let me take a look at this. If the closest item Okay, so we do find closest item. And it says if the closest item is null, we're going to do some checks. Otherwise, go ahead and use the closest item. So really, this entire else statement here, um, I should be able to get rid of. Decide jump attack. I'm going to go ahead and keep that one because... I do want this guy to jump. Mm, crab rotation. So this looks like just, you know, if this was commented out in the crab stuff, I probably don't need it right now. Uh, go ahead and save this. Has item. I need to get rid of this because I can't use it. Rich AI crab. So it's going to be the rich AI giant clam. And you see this is pretty quickly just going through and just changing up the code so that it will run uh, with this character. And it will get to be a bit more interesting once I get to the point of um, doing something like the giant clam punch, because this is where you go in and create coroutines for the different attacks and stuff. <clears throat> Although I might even be able to probably just copy and paste this and then change some of the variable names here too, with any luck. Jump attack forward. Um, I'm not really... so this does sphere casting and checks for obstacles and everything before jumping. And the clam might have a jump attack forward. For now I'm going to go ahead and leave it. And just say, like, what is clam jump attack forward? What is climb jump attack forward? Because I'll have to decide what uh, what animations, but you know, I could use the lick loop and a jump attack as it jumps forward. <clears throat> that would probably be the most useful thing to do, would be th that, the lick loop as a jump attack. Jump height, you know, just doing some more checking and stuff. Attacks anything. Um, so decide retaliation. I don't think I'm even... Yeah, there are no uses because the clam does not retaliate. And I'm going to keep it that way. Um, the crabs will retaliate. 
the clam is kind of meant to be a bit more of a fodder character. So that's fine. I don't necessarily need it to retaliate. Rich AI giant clam. Just go in here and replay. And you know what? <laughs> I could just do a find replace, but <clears throat> it's good to give the code a little bit of a review anyway, just going through here. If this and this and this and this. So I don't need attacks anything. Rich AI crab, giant clam, eyeballs FSM. So set eyeball target. Um, there's basically this is the only usage of it. I'm not going to have eyeballs on the character, so I don't need that. Default eye target, don't need that. Um, set has item, never going to have items. <clears throat> Activate AI, uh, rich AI giant clam again, rich AI giant clam, find closest item. I don't need it. Set and reach distance. Uh oh. Let's see. Is this being used? No, it's not being used. Distance at which to attack. Sentence afloat. Ah, yes. It's not being used in the script, but it will be used from an FSM. <clears throat> perhaps. Uh, it's normally for changing things based on whether you have items and stuff. So like if you have a club that has a long reach, you want a um, longer end reach distance. <coughs> this might might get used um, I'm going to say may get used remove if not set and reach distance auto. Um, this is going to be rich AI giant clam. Same, just going through. That's fine. Alright, disable swim breast, enable swim breast, don't need these. Set crab item state, don't need any of this. Um, hmm. I don't necessarily need a set crab item state, but I might want a set item state because the clam can become an item. So I do th think I want that. Um, and I'm going to call this clam item. And I guess I should have. I'm going to have to go back and check now. <coughs> Private bool. Uh, clam. I'm gonna have to go back and check what the uses for the crab item were uh, to make sure that I d didn't accidentally remove any. If not, attacks anything. Um, so that's always going to be true. So we can do that. Uh, rich AI crab again. And if not attacks anything. So all the stuff can come out of here. Because that doesn't mean you checked. Uh, cucumber escape. It's not going to be able to escape from the cucumber. Uh, if it gets eaten because it doesn't attack anything. Uh, so I'm going to save this and go back to the crab radar. And so what we're going to do here is check for crab item. And set look direction. So I don't want to set the look direction if um, if the clam item is if it's a clam item because it's not going to be running from you or looking at you. So that's fine. And there's only two, so th that's pretty much it. It's just if crab item or back off, just set the dire look direction and return as it's fleeing, and set the crab item state. So, 
that's the only usage of it in Crab Radar, which means I don't even need it. I don't need to set the item state uh, variable. I should probably use it on the rich AI though to uh, use a flea path uh, for one. Uh, no, actually, because the rich. Hmm. Hmm. Because it's not going to flee, it's not going to run from you. I do want to remove it from the flock. That would be correct. So, giant clam radar. Um, I can go ahead and remove the. Uh, clear. Well, I'm going to leave the clam item state here for now. Um, may be useless and removable. It probably is. Probably useless and removable. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Crab item state. Um, so make sure AI does not set flea path may simply want to disable AI here that's probably actually what I want to do if it becomes an item I probably do just want to disable disable everything really disable the radar disable um, disable the rich AI disable the RVO get rid of everything maybe not the RV mm. Actually, I could let crabs and other characters pick up the clam as an item, because I like things being items. Um, so let's see. Crab radar, I think we're okay with this. What else do we need? So the rich AI. Okay, the clam AI we have here is crab specific. So I have crab-specific variables, and then I have some crab-specific code. Um, so flea path, uh, random path, all this kind of stuff. Script crab radar. So okay, this is going to be a giant clam radar. That's easy enough off the bat. Clam radar. Um, I'm probably not going to actually end up using the flea in the random path. So let's see, on target reached, if it's in the hunt return, target.compare item. Um, the target is never going to be an item. It could be pretty mean if I had them <laughs> had them eat items. That would be funny. Um, but for now, I'm just going to assume that there won't be any items. Um, so pretty much, or do I, do I want to have them eat items? Does that sound mean? Should I have clams? Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm going to write that down, um, to say let clams eat items. Um, which would mean that they would need to be able to they would need to be able to target an item anyway let's go here update path waiting for path piece seeker error claim if crab item is not possible um, so we'll do just an if back off um, and so this is where you add in a new random path and pass it in so it'll flee. Otherwise, if the target is null, um, yep, I'll use clam radar, pass that in. Uh, clam radar. Uh, stuck after killing its current state, seeker. And I'm going to change. I'm kind of wary of doing a find replace at the moment. So let's see. Uh oh, seeker, character controller, RVO. Okay. Clam AI specific. Clam AI. Alright. 
So the whole thing about allowing a clam to eat an item is kind of where pre-planning this would have helped because I've gone ahead and removed all of the kind of item pickup stuff. Target, compare attack item uh, from from the radar. So what I'm going to do, go to giant clam radar. I'm going to say um, add a bull here. <coughs> Private. No, it needs to be public. Public, public bull um, item eater. And probably put that up here under behavior. Whoa. Whoa. Zoom out. There we go. Item eater. The jump choice timer. Why? Eh, that's fine. So item eater, going to add that to the giant clam setup as well under behavior and then on the radar. Uh, let me go ahead and save this and then go over to the radar. Where do I set radar stuff? Here we go. Um, <clears throat> just add this bowl here. This dot item eater is assigned item eater. I don't know why my nose seems to itch whenever I'm whenever I'm filming me coding. <laughs> I am allergic to the cat, but I don't seem to notice it unless I'm streaming. <clears throat> okay. Item eater. Yeah, I think that's kind of a bastardly thing to do. <laughs> So it sounds good to me. For some of the harder levels, always good to have some, some variation to change stuff up. An update is not used in setup and should not be here. Is that in crab setup? Do I have an update at the bottom? Yeah, I didn't think so. I, ooh, yes. Um, so use environment settings. Um, yeah, okay, so I've just been going in here and hand coding that part, which is fine. That works. But I do need these methods here. So for use environment settings, um, so this basically, the use environment settings will set the materials on the, um, on the item to you to basically use the material images for coloring and stuff so that if you're in a different world that uses say warmer or cooler lighting <clears throat> it's all reflected on the characters uh, because they're utilizing that lighting and here instead of blue I'm gonna say item eater let's see if both arms are deactivated it does not matter because it is not Alright, so then I need to, I'm going to have to call, call this at the end of awake, uh, use environment settings, renderers, but I kind of thought, oh yeah, alright, so on enemies I have it always used in the environment settings because it look weird if I'm not, but I did leave it as an optional thing on some of the other stuff. Okay, and this is what I was talking about earlier, if blue, it goes ahead and sets all of this stuff. So I don't need to have these publicly exposed anymore. I can just, I had them there for setting uh, and tweaking, and I might, I'm just going to leave them there for now because it's still pretty pre-alpha, I might want to change them. But at the end of the day, I can hide all that stuff uh, from being public up here. Okay, so giant clam setup. So the other thing I was going to look at uh, for radar uh, was the item thing. The whole um, <clears throat> finding items. So the item array, the closest item distance, uh, that kind of stuff. 
Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Items has item. Won't matter. It'll be eaten. I'm only going to use it for eating. <coughs> Behaviors, that sort of stuff. Jump choice timer, target game object, active, and then so active. Where's active? Okay, yeah, active has item. So all this temp distance, all this sort of stuff uh, that goes right above the player. I'm going to put in here. And items. So let's see. I'm going to need the um, find closest item. What else is used? It's only in find closest item. So I'm going to put this over. Um, I'm going to take this off screen. So find closest item, we'll need to go under deactivate AI just to try and keep things structured a bit. Deactivate AI. Max seek item distance. And I guess I need to go up here and uh, find the declaration. So over at ignore player distance. Uh, dun 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 dun. Ignore player distance. There we are. So it goes under it. Seek item distance. Throw position, that kind of stuff I'm not going to need. Uh, so let's go back to. We've already seen where items are used. Let's see where closest item is used. Alright, so if the closest item is null, so that was this entire else clause in here that I got rid of, um, which I suppose we can go has item we don't need, we can go add that back in after we do the what looks like the only set, uh, the set player thing here. Uh, player, jumper, so it goes right there. Have a line in there. Closest item, set AI target. Uh, so yeah, there's one, there's two, there's three. Closest item is assigned item that's in the close find closest item script, so that makes sense. So is that one. Uh, so then we have closest item distance, which is in find closest item, that's okay. Temp distance, two, three, four. Okay. And then we only have a couple more of these to check to make sure we aren't. And they should, yep, yeah, all three of those are in that same method. Max ignore player distance, um, or max seek item distance. This is the one where I think we might actually need to do something with it, such as um, initializing it. That's probably a good thing to do with it. Um, after, here we are, max seek, and then down here. Uh, if the closest, so actually that should already be set up by the find closest item. Find closest item. Uh, yeah, we want to go to the actual method uh, and max seek item distance and all that sort of stuff. And that should be good. Now we have this um, added right back in. Me. All right, crab radar, clam, 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 clam. That's the rich AI. Crab punch. Why am I being blind? Rich AI crab. <sighs> rich AI. Set up. Radar. Thank you. All right. So now the clam. That's crab. 
here. <laughs> now the clam can seek items. And the purpose for it, though, will be to eat them, to be mean to you. And I don't have item eater on here. Yeah, I do. That's right. Making sure. Okay, crab radar, rich AI, giant clam. Here we go, target, compare tag, item. All right, crab item is, it should be never used, so find usages. Uh-oh. We'll make this clam item. Uh, rich AI giant clam, so we need to make this clam item. Rich AI, we'll set this here. Clam item. Alright, now let's go check the... check this again. Let's see, find usages. Only one usage. And the clam item state, which is fine. Back off, grab, flee path, item, send event, item, pick up. Um, so that's fine. I can just have, I can leave it at item, pick up, and just change the logic in the FSM to eat the item. I don't need to rename it. For clarity, though, um, I think I'm going to item, pick up. Eat item. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. <coughs> Which means I should, at the same time, go into here. Whoop. Hit F. Go into the Playmaker FSM. And it's gonna have to reload as it's saving stuff. So that should be in movement. And instead of the event pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, item pick up, where is. So instead of item pick up, I want to rename this eat item. So eat item will go over here. Uh, I really don't need any of this pick arms to use or the the item or the distance settings or the item stance I don't need any of that so I just hit delete and running nice and slow eat item Eat item, and we'll just leave it there for now. So then I have all this kind of stuff, like all kinds of stuff about having items in here, like this um, item arm check. So it checks which arm the item is in. And it's not liking something about something that's going on. Uh, so really, from this hesitation, this random, come on, stop being, this random hesitation, uh, I can really just probably remove all this stuff. Item beside attack, um, bull test attacks above while grounded, mm -hmm. so the beside attack might be so that's actually something I do want to keep uh, for the spin attack come on so let's see here beside attack and the deal damage I'm going to drag these out here 
and then the same thing down here which actually I shouldn't need to do because there's only going to be one arm or no arms, there aren't going to be any arms so I'm going to drag all this stuff that's related to dealing damage with arms and such and get rid of it okay random hesitation so non-item attack for now I'm just gonna toss this into here and why is this complaining? What are you complaining about? Complaining about? What are you complaining about? Why are you complaining? It's funny, because it's movement beside attack L. Missing the target state beside attack L. Well, that's weird because it has beside attack and it's not using beside attack L uh, let's see events uh, dun, 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 dun. let me go ahead and save this um, I'm just going to close this as well and see if maybe it'll run a little faster now Giant Clam Holder. The transition is missing a target state. Movement. Beside attack L. It is not missing that state. It is right there. Um, but I might be too tired to deal with this intelligently at the moment. <coughs> So I can leave it there for now. And angry attack. Uh, so the clam currently does not. Oh, come on. Does not get angry. I don't think I might. I might want it to allow it. <laughs> I might want to allow it to get angry. Uh, find angry. It does not get angry. Ah, uh, yeah. I really should allow it to get angry. Okay. Uh, clam radar. Crab radar. Find angry. Gets angry. Let's check the usages. So all it's going to do is set the value on the FSM as gets angry. That's interesting. Let's see. Movement, take damage. So what happens, angry attack, it removes it from the flock, disables stuff, calls the angry attack coroutine, and the angry attack coroutine, I believe, disables the take damage FSM making the enemy effectively invulnerable for a moment. Um, and I like that. So it seems pretty easy. I'll just do this. Movement FSM. Game Manager. Uh, crab Radar. Giant Clam Radar. Let's go up to the top. All right. Yes, I know we don't have gets angry. I'm thinking about it's gonna be under the behaviors. Think about checking then this attacks anything. What kind of uses you have here? Decide retaliation. Do I want it to be able to attack anything? I probably should allow it. Even if I don't use it, it's another option that I could use if I do want to use it. So, let's see, this is right above the orient to surface. 
side jump, point to, sur to surface auto. And we'll, yep, attacks anything, retaliation probability. Uh, I knew that these were going to, going to do that. Because they aren't in. Attacks anything, retaliation probability. Uh, all right, then back here. And the set AI target. Uh, if the target is not null and not attacks anything, uh, if has been eaten, else target is player. Uh, so, uh, target dot is assigned PJ Ragdoll. Set AI target. So let's see about this. Um, after player and null, let's see, should be toward the bottom, set AI target. Ah, so yeah, I would have just removed, let's get this over, make this a little easier. I would have gone more, not target, is player, so all I need is should be this. Let's see, target not null and 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 not attacks anything. Crab radar, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, is eaten if not attacks anything. Uh, yep, I need to do that one. Do 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 eaten 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 there we are is eaten uh, deactivate AI so I'm just gonna put that in there and then we have one more is uneaten it should be around there so so AI player. All right. Attacks anything eaten, and now what I'll need to do: clam radar. Let's take this and go into the giant clam setup. Find the behavior section here. I'll just paste all this in because I think. Other than the jump choice timer, <laughs> which let me check on the crab. Do, 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 do. Mm, crab setup. Ah, oh, yeah, it's because I need to be looking at crab radar and find the jump choice <laughs> timer, which is the only private one. <laughs> So it's only on, it is only here. So let me check jump choice timer on the giant clam, find usages, same thing, four of them. All right, giant clam setup. Basically you need to assign all of these. So jumper, jump probability, item eater, I've got item eater, gets angry, attacks anything, and retaliation probability. Dot gets angry. Um, retaliation probability. and attacks anything. And that would be wrong. Okay. Giant clam radar. So let me take a look at rich AI crab. And where is my rich AI clam? Code, 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 code. 
Mm, rich AI, giant clam. Mm. So now I just want to take one quick glimpse at this crab specific section. Make sure, and I'm way too down. There, here we go. That's the radar. That would that would be why. Uh, rich AI crab. So here we are. And here's our crab specific, clam specific movement. Clam item back off grabbed, flea paths, on target reached, um, hunt, target is null, compare tag item. <coughs> Got all that going. And I, I can get rid of this. I don't see why that's in there. Force recalculation. Oh, come on, there we are. Update path, can search, errors, claim, release, back off, because here is where I would also want to do a clam item. So actually, if I'm a clam item, AI will be disabled, so I don't need to have that in there. AI target is null. Alright, so Crab Radar looks good. Giant Clam Rich AI looks good. Did I say Crab Radar or Clam Radar? Either way, they both look good. So let's see, what else do we need? Uh, we're actually on an hour right now, so this could be a good time to quit. Because I think I got a decent amount accomplished, having um, I got basically most of the AI going. The FSMs are pretty much in place. They need to be gutted and reworked a little bit more, and then pretty much it's um, some more copy and pasting and gutting some stuff of the other scripts that are on here. But as you can see, stuff like the crab radar. Um, has some stuff going for it now. Flash Handler, I don't have to touch. Giant Clam Punch, that'll be where I actually um, have the have the different coroutines for attacking in place. Uh, let's see what else. Giant Clam Animator Bull Manager, easy. Not a big deal. The Clam Pickup should also not be a big deal. Don't have to touch any of this or this or this. So yeah, I think maybe within the next um, couple days this will... should be running. should be running in another day or two. Alright, well, I hope that was useful. Um, thanks for watching and have a good night.